My name is Itsy Sweeney, and I'm a holistic health practitioner, uh-huh. and I'm from Pennsylvania in the U.S. Okay, and uh, you used to be ill before. Can you tell me what you had for issues? Yeah, I struggled with Lyme disease for about 15 years, uh-huh. and at its worst, I could barely function at all. Right. And it's kind of hard to talk about because I I don't really like talking about how sick I really was, but. If I would take a shower, I would be wiped out after taking a shower because it hurt to hold my arms up above my head. Uh And, you know, even just to make my bed in the morning would just wipe me out. So what I would do would be I would make the bed and then I'd lay on it for a while till I recovered. And everything that I did was an effort. If it was putting pepper on my food, it hurt my arms to put pepper on my food. And... I just felt as though I was dying, and I right. literally inside felt as, as though I was dying. I couldn't function. Did you get help, medication, anything? I went to different doctors, and I went to hospitals, and I was admitted to hospitals, and I had pancreatitis attacks, and uh, I was given different medications, which would help with some of the symptoms, but usually the symptoms that, that they helped caused other symptoms that I had to deal with, maybe with another medication. and. It was just, it was a rough go. It was, and when, when you feel that sick, you just don't even know how to help yourself. Like, yeah. you just don't even know. So, so what did you do? What, what changed things? Well, at one point, first they said it was fibromyalgia, and that's very common. People who have Lyme disease, they, they would call it fibromyalgia early on. And when I finally got tested for Lyme, it was four years into it, so I was, you know, by that time, the Lyme pretty much went through my body and created a lot of issues for my brain and my heart and everything else Uh Um, and then when they told me there was not much they can do and if I don't want to take their pills then kind of pretty much good luck (laughs) right so I I was pretty close to ending it like I was pretty close to thinking if I have to live like this I'm not going to do it then I went to a place called Good Shepherd in Pennsylvania and they did a lot of alternative therapies And some of it was like self-hypnosis, and some people talked a little bit about nutrition. Not a whole lot, but it definitely changed my life. So, once I started realizing that I did have some power over my health, little by little I started changing things. I started eating more, well I stopped eating meat because I was gaining a lot of weight, and I stopped eating meat, which was easy for me because I was never a huge meat eater anyway. Once I quit eating meat, I lost some weight and I started feeling a little bit better wasn't extremely healthy but uh, I did start feeling a little better then I became a vegan probably about six years ago or so and at that point uh, things started changing I started getting a little bit more energy and then I discovered raw foods and I started out with high fat raw foods so I was doing a lot of raw which still I felt better but I was still having a lot of pancreas issues once I became more low fat raw and I'm not completely raw but I'm very high raw and uh-huh. I feel so good. Mostly, if I eat 100% raw, I, I feel really well, better than I have right. in many, many years. So I do, I do attempt to keep myself eating mostly fruit and then salads at night. Uh-huh. And how quickly did you feel the difference? Like, Well, I felt pretty good for a long time, but I still didn't feel like myself until I had a long fast. I did a 26-day okay. water fast. Right. That changed my life. That brought me from one side of uh, poor health to the to the better side where the uh, internal shakiness in my body actually went away for the first time in years So basically when you eat the way you feel you have to with the fruits raw fruits and vegetables You feel pretty pretty yes, good. Yes, I, I feel a lot better. In fact, I feel better than I Mean better than since I was probably 25 years old. Wow. Yeah, and but I have to maintain it, you know, it's right. work, it's not easy. And, you know, maybe for some people it's easy, but for me, it's it's not always easy. And in Thailand, the food is really delicious, the cooked curries and, yeah. and all the different kind of rices, the brown rices, the purple rice and yellow rice, mm-hmm. and, or not yellow rice, but black rice, you know, it's all really good. Okay. So it's hard. Right. And do you have one final good advice for somebody who's dealing with Lyme? Well, I would just say, For me, once I took my health into my own hands and started experimenting with different things, and basically a plant-based diet is what really, really helps, and keeping it high raw is what really helps me. And that's what I do now. I actually help people get healthier. Yeah. And I think 
it's easy to step in that direction, just starting off with breakfast with a smoothie in the morning. Uh -huh. Just start out one meal a day with, right. with raw foods. If you're not doing it at all, that's going to be a step in the right direction. Great. And do you have a website to share? My website unfortunately got hacked and it, uh, it's not working anymore. It was Raw Food Lifeways. But right now I have a YouTube channel uh -huh. and my YouTube channel is Fruit Fanatic 33. Brilliant. And so it's, I'm a fruit fanatic and 33. Fruit Fanatic 33 on YouTube. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hvis du gerne vil vide mere om, hvordan du kan forbedre dit helbred, så er der to ting, du kan gøre lige nu. Det første det er, at du kan abonnere på mig her på YouTube, og så vil du modtage videoer hver gang, jeg laver en ny. Det andet det er at gå ind på min hjemmeside og hente min gratis Kom i gang guide, og samtidig vil du også modtage nyheder fra mig og endnu flere gode videoer, der kan forbedre dit helbred. Min hjemmeside det er www.raskporaw.dk, og det eneste du skal gøre, det er at klikke på skærmen nu.